the magnetic field UFO. And, and when I noticed the, the you know, the, the object, I, I grabbed my camera immediately and, and I started to uh, videotape. Houston, Texas, April 11th, 2008. The day started like any other for Mauricio Ruiz. However, his routine was cut short by something out of the ordinary. Around 7.20 a.m., Mr. Ruiz was taking care of his dogs. That's when he spotted something in the sky. In disbelief, Mauricio quickly grabbed his video camera and captured one of the most remarkable UFO sightings in history. As the camera rolled, a saucer-shaped object hovered in the sky, defying any conventional explanation. As the witness aimed the camera towards the object, his dog started growling at it. Struggling to find words, the only thing echoing in Mauricio's mind was to keep recording that object. But I couldn't talk. I didn't know what to say. I was just speechless like this. Hey. So what came to my mind, videotape, videotape, keep the camera going. So uh, I'm The object's round shape and gleaming bottom left Mauricio not only speechless, but also with an uneasy feeling. As Mauricio zoomed in with his camera, the object seemed to have a rotating top. That's when I noticed the top part was either going around, it looked like. Now, the most intriguing part of this sighting, as soon as the object tilted, it instantly caused interference in Mauricio's camera. The most logical explanation for what caused the interference is that the UFO's movements might be powered by a very strong magnetic field. This is basically a quick overview of what happened that day. If you want to know more details about this incident, I made a separate video with a deeper analysis of everything we know so far about it. Be sure to check it out. And there you have it.